Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really dynamite name. At least I think it's pretty dynamite. <laughs> anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. Let me get on here and get on this ukulele and act like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. to the checklist while I'm over here being silly with these instruments y'all know I can't play that well that's all right because some of y'all do know how to play instruments or 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 you are taking formal lessons and you are learning and I need your help so you know come to me at any time and show me what you know anyway boys and girls I hope you had a terrific day today I hope you did something fun and exciting and brand new and just different and unforgettable and just fabulous today just excitement i'm just saying it's always nice to have those type of days you can talk about it for years to come and i hope that you ate a good dinner oh my god i ate a beautiful dinner today yes my friend and her boyfriend decided to cook and 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 and, and fry fish and bake and and just wow so i'm full i yes i am but anyway, if you had a good dinner, I hope you had a good conversation to go along with that dinner. I hope you chatted and had conversation with your family, talked about ideas and gripes and, and fun stuff and what's going to happen tomorrow and how you had fun today, all of that good stuff. Make sure you have a conversation with your family. Did you do your chores? Pick up, clean up behind yourself and make sure that you clean that room. That bedroom better be clean before you go to bed. Because who want to come to a messy room and it's the end of the day and you had a long day and you tired already? You just want to get in your bed and go to dreamland, right? And your room is just a hot tornado garbage mess. That's not cool. So make sure you clean your room, boys and girls. Did you do your homework? Yes, because those big, beautiful, brilliant, brains need to be fed knowledge so make sure that you do your homework pick out your pjs yes because if you picked out your pjs you ready to go and also pick out your clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow because that's important to pick out your clothes so you don't have to do it in the morning <clears throat> did you wash yourself from head to toe wash up Take a shower, bath, clean, fresh and clean, you know. Yes, and then dry it off after you're done with those showers or baths. And then put on some lotion so that your skin is soft and smooth. And don't forget to brush your teeth, floss your teeth, and rinse out your mouth when you're done. Yes. And let's see, what else? Clean those ears. And those noses. Honk, 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 honk. You know, the, the nose is more or less if you're, like, stopped up having trouble breathing or whatever. You want to clean that out help get that together. <clears throat> and take one last opportunity to use the bathroom, you know what I'm saying, before you go to bed. It's a good idea to do that. Um, <clears throat> you want to peer poop one last time, clear out your system so you don't get interruption in your dream. Because that's rude. And then you might not be able to go back to it the same way. I mean, if you whisper yourself, you can still do it. But most people don't think to do it at that time of night because they have sleep. But they had to wake up so they had to go to the bathroom. So use the bathroom before you go to bed. Did you wash your hair, brush your hair, comb your hair, wrap up your hair, tie up your hair, do something with your hair? As you can see, I cut my hair. 
And this is my natural color. So yes, bear with me. And about the next story read, you'll see me <clears throat> blonde again. Because I just like that color. All right. Let's see. Don't forget to turn on those night lights, boys and girls. Turn on those night lights. So you can see where you're going in the middle of the night if you do need to get up. <clears throat> now, you don't need to read a book. Storybook. Daytime story. Read a book or have someone read a book to you. Yes, that's the best way to venture off into dreamland is after a bedtime story. And don't forget those I love you's hugs, kisses, and smooches. For your family members, your, your loved ones, the pets in the home. One last time before everybody goes to sleep, right? And do you have your cuddle buddy? I got my dino dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, he, he going to be spotlighted. Because I kind of missed his spotlight a little bit the other night. We caught it on the back end, but not this time. He is in the spotlight. But anyway, you got your color buddies. You're in bed. Snug's a bug in a rug. You're good to go. So don't forget to do the most important thing. Say your prayers. Make sure you say your prayers before you drift off to dreamland. Got it? Yes. Well, let's check off the checklist. Oh, one more thing. If you have to take a nighttime vitamin or a medication or you have some special uh, provisions that you need to do or something that you need before you go to sleep, make sure that you do that with your parent supervision. And don't forget to do it because most importantly, you want to make sure that it gets done. Along with don't get in your bed and it's a whole bunch of stuff in your bed taking up all your beautiful, precious space. And it's not supposed to be in your bed. Get them toys out the bed. Get them extra cuddle buddies out the bed. You only need one, maybe two, but really just one cuddle buddy. Everybody else can wait their turn because you rotate them out. You take turns like I do. Well, let's give a shout out to C5. Yes, they get their turns. C5. Y'all like, what is C5? That is Candy's Cozy Couch Cuddly Crew. They get their turns. Tonight is Dino's turn. But you don't see, I tried it at one point. I did. It was crowded on this couch too. I had too many of them. You only need one cuddle buddy. Okay? So, check, 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 check. Checkity check, 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 check. Flip it over. Here we go. Check, 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 check. Checkity check, 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 check. Woo, story time. <clears throat> All right. If you happen to have a dinosaur by Linda Bailey and Colin Jack. Ooh-wee. Yeah, if you happen to have a dinosaur, <clears throat> from babysitters to umbrellas, lawnmowers to kites, this handy dandy book will show you the many ways you can put your pet dinosaur to work. There aren't many books that have the courage to be this silly, simply wonderful. Nice. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> well, my dino here, he, he want to know what's going on with his cousin in his book, so let's see. If you happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room and you don't know what to do with it, I know nobody would know, huh? If you had a dinosaur... Lying in the living room. Everybody be like, how the heck did the dinosaur get in the living room? Maybe you could use it as a can opener. Oh, yeah, if he got that horn. It just might work. Ooh, wee. And he green, too. That's what I'm talking about. If you make a great coffee grinder, too. Wait, it would make a great coffee grinder, too. Or a nutcracker. On a or a potato masher, huh? Do y'all see? Oh, what creative ideas that they came up with for this dinosaur? And if you need a burglar alarm, and your dinosaur is just the thing, yeah, because I think if I was trying to break into your house and steal all your valuables. Had I seen a dinosaur with all them teeth looking at me and blinking them eyes? It's the, it's the eye blink for me. Just I'm like, oh no, it's time to go. <laughs> Shoot. There are oodles of things you can do with a dinosaur. Try taking it into your yard. It will mow your lawn, trim your trees, blow your leaves, and dig you a garden in no time flat. 
Yeah, I want a dinosaur. Who wants a dinosaur? Raise your hand. Yeah, I want a dinosaur. That's kind of cool, huh? Hold up. Don't let me skip. Don't let me skip. Okay. Yes, a dinosaur is handy any season of the year. On rainy days, it makes a fine umbrella. Really? Ooh, wee. Everybody just stand underneath the body of the dinosaur and it blocks all the raindrops, huh? I want a dinosaur. I really want to look this dinosaur. He, he like, yeah, talk about my cousin. Talk about my cousin. In winter, it's a snow plow. What? What? Oh, he happy. He is so happy tonight. Yeah, he is. He is. He is smiling ear to ear. And on hot summer days, just park it by the pool. What an exciting diving board. Hey, don't y'all want a dinosaur now? Y'all see how cool they are? Oh, I want one for my birthday. My birthday coming up in April. I want a dinosaur. Some dinosaurs make wonderful babysitters. What? But not all dinosaurs are suited to to this work. Oh, okay. So you got to get the right one. Oh, I see. Because this one right here is just like if I held you by your drawers and give you a wedgie. As long as you don't get lost. <laughs> now, we don't want that one for babysitters. No, nah, no. Nah. Some dinosaurs make excellent kites. But not all dinosaurs are suited to this work either. Yeah, all the flying dinosaurs. Not some ones that are on land. Yeah, you can't do nothing with that. Uh -uh. <laughs> he tried it, though. He tried it. There are some things a dinosaur is just not good for at all. Do not ask your dinosaur to carry your picnic basket. Oh, no. Okay, that's good to know. So, listen. The dinosaur cannot carry the picnic basket. Oh, look at that mess. Ooh -wee. Okay, we learn something new every day. All right. Mm -hmm. Or push your grocery cart and hold your popcorn bowl. Oh man. So these are these are these are things that dinosaurs cannot do. Because it will be a catastrophe. Ooh wee. Popcorn everywhere. If your dinosaur small, is your dinosaur small, it will make a dandy pillow or a footstool or a bookmark. Really? So if you get a small dinosaur. Oh, that's good to know. Things that the small dinosaurs can do. That's important. They, they have a job too. A tall dinosaur will clean your roof. And wash your windows and rescue your kitty lickety split. Yeah, so if the cat ends up up in the tree, this was what the what the uh, the tall dinosaurs are good for. Uh-huh. Alright. This dinosaur is so proud. He's so proud. Once you start using your dinosaur, you'll never want to stop. The possibilities are amazing. You know what? I got to get me a dinosaur. I got to get me a dinosaur. I got to get me a dinosaur. Guess what? The end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah. That was a fun story. Yes, it was. All right, boys and girls. Well, boy, I hope you like dinosaurs. If you don't, that's okay. Dinosaurs, you know, they, they existed at one time. They're extinct now, but they're pretty cool to read about in books and dream about. And speaking of dreams, all right, boys and girls, you know what time it is. The best time of the day or night. Get in bed. Checklist is done, right? Check, 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 it, check, check, check. All done. All right, well, get in bed. Comfy, cozy. Snug as a bug in a rug. You are safe and sound right where you need to be.
Get your get your cuddle buddy. This dinosaur is very huggable. He get yeah, he ooh, he gets so huggable. Get your cuddle buddy. Close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. You don't gotta tell everybody your business. Whisper to yourself your dream. Talk it out just like you're telling yourself a story. And relax. You're safe and sound. You're fine. Just let your body relax and drift off to sleep so you can dream your special dream. All right, boys and girls. Now you get to it because I know you can do it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.